a fact that Patrice Raymond is gonna be at that new vampire movie. And when those vampires start biting, and when she gets scared, she'll have my open arms wait for her. <laughs> hey, man, it's a good thing this ain't a double feature. I'll be coming home with some real tired lips, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. All right, then. Later. <sighs> like someone would actually run into your bony arms if they're scared. <laughs> Check out these guns. <laughs> Look. It just so happens I'm going to that movie, too. And I don't appreciate listening to your disgusting armpit noises and getting hit in the head with your milk duds. <laughs> hey, don't go. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing that movie, too. Could it be because Brian Taylor's gonna be there? <laughs> well, if Brian happens to be there, fine. And if he doesn't happen to be there? No way I'm sitting through a stupid vampire movie. <laughs> James, baby. Come on down here. Mama, will you tell Jerome not to act like a macho moron at the movies tomorrow? Jerome, don't act like a macho moron at the movies tomorrow. Mama, will you tell Denisha not to act like a stuck-up jerk at the movies tomorrow? Denisha, don't act like a stuck-up jerk at the movies tomorrow. <laughs> Mama, tell her not to act like a stuck-up jerk. I already said that. I know what I just like hearing you call a stuck-up jerk. <laughs> what is it, Mama? Well. Mrs. Bowers is coming to get her hair done tomorrow. And afterwards, she's taking you and Joey to Kimberly Jackson's birthday party. Mama, I don't want to go to a girl's birthday party. Joey and I are going to be the only boys there. Oh, you'll have a great time. And besides, they're going to have a big puppet show. Yes, yeah, Cinderella. <laughs> Kimberly really likes you. And that's another reason why I don't want to go. <laughs> Kimberly's mother is a good tipping customer. Kid, you're going. Oh, man. I'd be going with you tomorrow, baby. But Mama's got an extremely busy day cutting hair tomorrow. And I'm gonna be watching Vampire, so I can't go with you. You gonna see that new Vampire movie? Yeah. I wanna go. You're going to the party. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> You're going fishing? Crystal Lake, tomorrow. Uncle Charles and I have it all planned out. Your daddy always loved going fishing there. I wanna go fishing. Look. No movie, no fishing. You're going to the party. <laughs> Man, you know, where are chicken pox when you need them? <laughs> I've been working hard, two jobs every day. Giving time to my children, showing them the way. We're going. Trip you took there five years ago. <laughs> well, including the bait. <laughs> yeah, that was a great trip. The man knew how to catch fish. <laughs> the man uh, also knew how to get up at four o'clock in the morning and go fishing without waking me up. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry, Mama. I guess we're excited. Yeah, it's gonna be great being back at the lake again, huh? Yes, yeah, sure is. Hey, do you remember those delicious chicken salad sandwiches your mother used to make for us for those fishing trips? Oh, you mean uh, with the chopped peppers and onions? Oh, magically mixed together with that special mustard mayonnaise sauce of hers? Mm. <laughs> I only thought of this yesterday. Where would I hear it? Well, there's no sense even going. Now, let's just unpack. Yeah. Oh, Mama, you did <laughs> If you keep on going on like you've been, you'll make me wish I had. <laughs> Thanks, dude. So what do you say, Jarvis? You ready for a day of male bonding? Are you kidding? I didn't even shave. <laughs> male bonding. Two guys sitting in a boat telling each other to be quiet because they don't want to scare the fish. Oh, you can't get any more intimate than that. See, a man don't need to talk about their feelings to bond. It's what we don't say and the way we don't say it. <laughs> you men are so deep. <laughs> Well, you 
just get better, Alicia, okay? Bye-bye. Take care. What's wrong with Alicia? The flu, both she and her son. Now, who can I get to take James to the birthday party? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Jerome, Denisha, will you come in here, please? Girl, get ready for some wine. <laughs> What's up, Mama? Look, Mama's got a lot of hair appointments today, and I need one of you to take James to his birthday party. Mama, I can't. I'm meeting Janet at the movies. Yeah, and I got movie plans, too, Mama. <laughs> you guys work it out amongst yourselves, all right? But, Mama... All I ask for is a little assistance, because I have all these hair appointments. I have work to do. But what do I get? A bunch of wine. <laughs> oh, but Mama... And a whole lot of butt mamas. Come on here, Lynette. But Mama... Don't start with me, girl. <laughs> Look, you two work it out. That's why I had you, so y'all could help each other out. <laughs> Go on, boot scoot and boogie, huh? So how are we gonna settle this? Well, it is a girl's birthday party. You'd be more comfortable there. Nah, I think all the more reason James would want another guy there. Yeah, but Cinderella, see, you'd appreciate that more than me. You a woman. See, with all those exciting sewing and cleaning scenes. <laughs> Boy, you really know how to sweet talk a woman. That's why they call me Dr. Love. <laughs> no, that's why they call you hopeless. <laughs> okay, how about a compromise? Look, you take him to the party and I'll shoot to the movies. But where's the compromise? Hear me out. Then, when the movie's over, I'll rush to the party and relieve you. But I'll miss the movie. That's what makes it a compromise. <laughs> what are you missing? Cinderella, but you don't hear me complaining. <laughs> How come you two are taking me to the party? Because Joey and his mother got the flu. What? That means I'm gonna be the only boy there. This is death. I can't go through with this. Relax, James. Besides, you don't have a choice. Oh, yes, I do. How about we all skip this stupid party and we go to the movies? <laughs> Revenge of the cyborg vampires? Mama does not want you to see a scary movie, James. Yeah, she's right, James. Mama wouldn't go for that. How would Mama know? <laughs> All right, my man. I Mommy mean, is really growing up. Jerome. Look here, Denisha, chill out. If there's one thing in life you can't do, that's keeping a boy from becoming a man. That's right. And need I remind you that Brian Taylor's gonna be there? And if you're not there, pretending to be scared, quivering in his arms, some other fine filly will. So, uh, what's it gonna be? <laughs> Mama, we worked it out. We're both gonna take James. Yeah, we decided it wouldn't be fair for just one of us to ruin a perfectly good day by spending it with the little guy. My two babies are giving up their day to hang with their little brother. Is that okay with you, Mama? It sure is. Well, let's go catch the bus. Okay, you can add Roslyn to your list of cancellations. Oh, that gives us the whole afternoon free. Hey, what do you say we go to the mall for a little shopping? Oh, that sounds like fun. I hear they got this new boutique called Newton's. Yeah, but I hear it's expensive. Child, last time I checked, looking was for free. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. <laughs> nah, I should take James to that birthday party. <sighs> Let me go on and run after them kids and stop them. You know, except... These are walking shoes. I need some running shoes, but I don't have any. Because you can't run in walking shoes. Ah, uh, forget it. I'll just run after them in these shoes. <laughs> what am I thinking of? Girl, you know you can get hurt running in walking shoes. You know what? I really need some running shoes. I don't think I can run after these kids in the running. I need walk. You know, these are walking shoes. I need running shoes. You know what I'm saying? Do you need me to keep babbling, or do you think they're on the bus by now? <laughs> I think you safe. <laughs> So let's scoot on to the mall. Yeah, you know, that'll be perfect. Then we can get you some running shoes. Girl, what I'm gonna do with some running shoes? You know I ain't ran since 1982. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody was chasing me then. I'm sorry about making you fall in the mud when I slipped, Uncle Charles. Well, it's okay, you had to grab something. I was handy. <laughs> Man, those mosquitoes are fierce. How do they survive out here in this freezing cold? Drinking our warm blood? <laughs> I'm sorry I forgot the bug repellent. Yeah, I understand. Your father was the one who used to pack all the supplies. <laughs> By the way, I'm sorry about leaving the chicken sandwiches on the roof of the car. <laughs> well, you see, that's okay. The important thing is, is that we're out here. 
missing. Yeah, it's good to be back. Great to be back. Change your name to Tina Turner. <laughs> oh, look, Lynette. A leg warmer. Poor Shannon. <laughs> Let me know if you need any help. Hello. May I help you? Oh, we're just browsing. Thank you. <laughs> Fia is cashmere. Oh, what I would give to have one of these. <laughs> What's wrong? That sales lady hasn't taken her eye off of us since we got in here. Oh, I saw that. Come here, if she wanna act ignorant, just let her go right ahead. No, you don't see her following Patty Peroxide over there, do you? <laughs> but every time I step near a piece of merchandise, it's hello, me and my shadow. Well, you just wanna go, we could just go. No, I want some respect. My money's as good as anybody else's. Yeah, but you ain't spending any. So she don't know that. <laughs> I think it's time for a lesson. Uh oh. Excuse me. What are you doing? Uh, how can I help you? I'm from the Jamaican Embassy. <laughs> oh, the Jamaican Embassy? I'm flattered that you're in our store. <laughs> oh, well, how can I help you? I'm returning home and I want to purchase some gifts for my staff. They get so cross with me when I don't bring them anything back. Oh, really? <laughs> well, what sort of thing do you have in mind? How much for this colorful piece of fluff here? <laughs> some of our finest silk. They're $120 a piece. Mm. Lenny, I know they're a little on the cheap side, but we can give them to the maids and the gardeners. <laughs> Tell me, do you have something a little more special? Something that's a little more like a scarf and less than a do-rag. <laughs> well, uh, ma'am, uh, per perhaps I can show you some jewelry. Oh, jewelry, Lynette. You can never go wrong when it comes to jewelry. Yes, whatever you say, your imbeciness. <laughs> Denisha, what are you doing? The movie is that way. We have some time. I just want to browse a minute. I've already broken two very important rules. I'm babysitting in public, and I'm in a mall with a sister who's my sister. Now, please don't make me browse. <laughs> What's mama doing here? <laughs> I thought she had a busy day at the salon today. Yeah, what kind of game is she running on us? <laughs> oh, these are cute little trinkets, and I guess it's acceptable if gold is all you have. Why is she talking in that crazy voice? I don't know. Anyone want to ask her? Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Look, let's get out of here and go to the movie before she sees you. Yes, come on, come on. Uh, so how large is your staff? <laughs> oh, it's quite small. Just two or three dozen people. Ooh. But it's my staff staff. Oh, child, don't get me started on that. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to need some help. I'll go get the store manager. <laughs> yes, the manager. But aren't you afraid to leave us here with all this valuable merchandise? With you? Oh, please. <laughs> you know I heard you Jamaicans have a delightful sense of humor. <laughs> Scary and I'm good. <laughs> Ooh, let's go, <laughs> Not on your life. She gonna find out just how funny I really am. Now, these stones are exquisite, aren't they? Oh, yes. And they look especially lovely on you. <laughs> If you'd like, we do have some larger stones in the back. I'll bring them right out. Oh, no, please don't bother. Oh, it's no bother at all. Not for someone as special as you. I'll be right back. I said, please don't bother. Wait a second. What happened to your accent? The same thing that happened to your kissing up. <laughs> yeah, I was getting kind of used to those fake Ken and Barbie smiles. <laughs> My, aren't we funny? Miranda, call security. Oh, and what are you gonna tell them, Miranda? The truth? Officer, I want these women arrested for being black while browsing. Excuse me, but just what are you implying? I'm not implying anything. I'm saying we don't appreciate being tailed while we walk in the store. Don't be absurd. We weren't tailing you. It's just our policy to watch everybody who comes into the store. Oh, no, you look at everybody. You watch only us. Come on, Lenny. 
Say it. <laughs> Work for the day for a glass of rum. Hey, did I call mommy one oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Aren't these fish biting? Don't they know that we're at the top of the food chain? <laughs> well, that's the way it goes. The mud, the mosquitoes, finicky fish. <laughs> you, know, you were excited about coming up here, weren't you, Uncle Charles? Well, I knew how much you'd enjoy it. Wait a minute. You mean you're doing this for me? Sure. I thought fishing would be a great way for us to be together and a nice way to, you know, feel closer to your dad. Yeah, he loved fishing. But I didn't know too much about it. I just loved being with him. Yeah, me too. He was quite a man. But my dad liked to do a whole lot of other stuff, too. <laughs> yes, he did. Warm, dry, comfortable things. <laughs> get a chance of talking about those things in the car? That's a good idea. Because you know what? I hate fishing. <laughs> I better hate it more than you when you want to go. I'm rolling. <laughs> so what do you think is up with Mama? Telling us she had a busy day at the salon and then taking off to the mall talking like Bob Marley. <laughs> well, we'll never find out because we didn't see it, right? <laughs> right, James? Did you hear something in the attic? No, nah, man, you go throw down a car or what? Oh, oh, yeah. Jen. <laughs> little brother, you caught me with a mess of points. You can get me back in the next game. No, that's it. It's way past your bedtime. Come on, little guy, let's hit the sheet. James, what's the matter, man? I don't want to go to sleep. I'm afraid the sidewalks will come while I'm sleeping and suck my blood. Jerome, I told you this was gonna happen. <laughs> Yo, bro, you promised you wouldn't do this if we took you to see a scary movie. I can't help it. I'm scared. James, none of that stuff is real. Oh, yeah? Then what about all that blood shooting out of his neck? <laughs> it's just a lot of makeup and special effects. You're just saying that, so I'll go to sleep. That's ridiculous. Now go to sleep. <laughs> look, whatever you do, don't dream about vampires. Well, that's a big help. James, look, forget about what Jerome just said. Just have a good night's sleep. Okay, all right. I'll try. Ugh, a Denisha kiss. <laughs> Wait, Jerome. What if the vampires try and get me after you leave? Oh, man, all right. I'll stay, okay? Hey, Mama, I'm back. Hey, how you doing? Hi, right, baby, did you have a nice day? Oh, it was great. Mm. That must mean you caught a lot of disgusting fish for me to clean. Where are they? In the lake where they belong. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Oh, no, no, it's good. Really? Then that means that you just had a nice time hanging out the lake. Oh, no, actually, it was uh, cold, foggy, miserable, <laughs> mosquitoes sucking on my blood. <laughs> I'm confused. What was great about this day? I bowled a 192. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, that's a long story. I'll tell you after I put this fishing gear away. Huh, for good. No more fishing. <laughs> Mama, Mama, save me! Oh, Lord. Shh, you just had a bad dream. Chill out. Empires were biting my neck. Is it bleeding? Did my baby have a bad dream? Um, well, he was, but he's okay now. Good night, Mama. We'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Mama, don't go. I'm too scared to go back to sleep. Oh, you come tell your mama all about it. I can't. Well, if you don't tell me about it, it may not go away. But if I do talk about it, Jerome and Denisha will get in trouble. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Uh, Mama, he must still be dreaming. Look at him, walking and talking in his sleep. You can't even look at Mama worry with your bad dreams. Come on, man, wake up. <laughs> you and me gonna dance, son. No, Mama. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, son. No. You too, man. Oh. Now, it seems to me that you two were supposed to take your brother to a birthday party, not a horror movie. And what's worse, y'all lied to me. You're right, Mama. I should have known better. Yeah, she's right, Mama. She should have known better. <laughs> Boy, don't mess with me. And yeah, maybe I should have known better, too. Don't blame them, Mama. I begged them to take me because I've never seen a scary movie before. Well, I guess you know why now, don't you? Yeah, it's tough to sleep when you have to fight vampires, too. <laughs> it sure is, baby. And furthermore, 
It's not nice to tell people you're gonna be in one place and then be in another, now is it? That's right, Mama. You know, after all, you said you're gonna be in the salon all day long, and I'm sure that's just where you were, right? Yeah, after all those jerry curls and weaves, you must be exhausted, huh? <laughs> where did you say that movie was playing? In the mall, right down from Newton's boutique, man. <laughs> down the way from the bagel nosh. <laughs> Mama doesn't like her baby spying on her. Hey, we weren't spying. We were just someplace we shouldn't have been. Maybe we weren't the only ones. <laughs> As a matter of fact, all of Mama's appointments were canceled. And for the record, I wasn't just hanging around in the mall wasting time. I was putting a couple of bigoted people in check. I was striking a blow for liberty and justice and equality for all people. Plus, I was buying myself a little shum shum. <laughs> Now, what do you say? Mama makes us a drink that takes the chill off our bones. Y'all have some of that hot chocolate there. And if you put the little marshmallow on top me down. <laughs> and what will you have, little Martin? Hit me with the same thing, Mama. <laughs> um, why is everybody talking like Shabba Ranks? <laughs> Y'all well, thank God we don't look like you. <laughs> if you don't have an accent, boy, you can't talk in this kitchen. Okay, fix me one too, woman. That's Mrs. Woman to you, fishhead boy. You know, next time I go to the mall and somebody gives me problems, I want to learn to do what you did. What do you want me to do? I want you to teach me that Jamaican accent. All right, Lenny, start with Tia. Tia. Tia is good. Tia is good. I am from the embassy. I am from the embassy. No, you from Mississippi. <laughs> embassy. Embassy. Thea is wonderful. Thea is wonderful. I want to give Thea $50. I want to give Thea $50. Give it here, girl. 